Joe Biden trending today. He announced that he is not running for president. No one guessed that he uh, that that was coming. Rather, our poll question today asks this: Vice President Joe Biden announced he's not running for president. Who will that help in the presidential race? Do you think it helps Hillary, Bernie, Donald, or no one at all? Vote in that poll right now. U2America.com or use the U2America app that is available for your Apple Android devices. Now, maybe my next guest knew that Joe Biden would not run. He is a Democratic political strategist and a liberal talk show host. Sean Pittman, welcome to America Trends. Good to have you. How you doing, Gina? I'm doing well, thanks. You and I, speaking of Pittman, got pitted against one another the other day, had a little, had a little fun with that. I think our topic was, uh, was Donald Trump. Imagine that, Sean. News media yeah. talking about Donald Trump. I can't even fathom. I know. Well, well, you beat up on me a little bit, but I, uh, I survived enough to be on your show tonight, so I appreciate that. <laughs> no, I appreciate you coming back, even though I be we should have shown that video. Anyway, Sean, uh, did you predict that Joe Biden would not get in this race, or are you as shocked as the rest of us? Well, I can't take credit for that, right? I, what I will say is that, you know, we knew that Joe, that it was closing up on Joe Biden, right? Yeah. It was time for him to make a decision. We mm -hmm. all knew that this week was going to be the time. Yeah. But you know what? There's still a lot of question out there whether even Joe Biden coming out today and saying, I won't run, why did he make the decision? And why did he make it before the Benghazi, uh, uh, right. before the Benghazi trials tomorrow, right? Yes, yes. And that's an excellent question that I'm not hearing a lot of people specify as you just did. Uh, what, what's your best guess on that? What do you think went down behind the scenes that we're never likely going to know? Well, I, I think I think he didn't want whatever happened tomorrow to make a decision for him, right? I think if you come out before and your decision is solid, then you do have some options afterwards. If she does great uh, at the hearings tomorrow, then you you know you made the right choice. If she doesn't do well tomorrow, then it ignites your draft Joe Biden movement again, right? And, mm -hmm. and I think that the best move for him, and I, and I gotta tell you, he's got some great political operatives with him because most people would have said, wait till the hearing and then say something. Because after the debate, Jenna, Gina, after the debate, you know, the room, the air was closing up on him, right? Because Hillary did an incredible job at the debate. She did everything she needed to do, mm -hmm. but, we still have a couple things out there, Gina, and this is what we were talking about the other day. The Democrats still have a problem whether the socialist Barry Sanders makes it, which we, we all know he won't, or Hillary Clinton, who has this Benghazi issue, and by the way, that's not going to go away. So you hear Donald Trump out there saying, ah, I want to run against Hillary. You hear these other folks saying Hillary's the one they want to run against. They know that as long as that investigation is going on, there's going to be doubt about whether Hillary tells is telling the truth and whether or not she's going to be a strong candidate for the Democratic Party. What do you think is going to happen tomorrow? Because a lot of people have said, um, you know, Hillary's gone on the offensive. She, um, she, she, for example, has has taken opportunity to almost mock really the Republicans uh, for for putting her you in the position the enemies? Of, of what? You mean the enemies? <laughs> yeah, the enemies uh, for putting her in that position. So so, but some have said, you know, her debate performance, and I have to hand it to her on that. I'm with you on that. I've heard Republican pundits, conservative pundits, try to deny that she was a rock star that night. She was a rock star that night. She did a great job. I, I, I'll argue that with anyone. But you go back to 2013 when she was talking about Benghazi and she said the whole whoops where she said, and I hope to God she didn't mean it, what difference does it make? There's a nuance there and you and I both understand that. But what's your prediction about tomorrow and how significant is it in the presidential election? Listen, I think it's very significant tomorrow because all eyes on what happens tomorrow. Listen. We do know that the Republicans are in power and they have the ability to put this hearing together and the timing couldn't be better, right? Mm -hmm. But these are serious issues. There are serious questions out there about Benghazi because there were lives lost. So I think Hillary's gonna go to the hearing and I think she's prepared to answer these questions. And, and I'll predict this, Gina, I don't think she fumbles. 
I think she does a great job as she did at the debate, and I think she answers the questions that need to be answered. But it doesn't go away because no matter what comes out tomorrow, people have their opinions, and people vote on their opinions. So I, I, I think the Democrats, and I think Joe Biden, even though he made the decision he made, will be sleeping tonight thinking, did I make the right decision? Will there be time for me if she slips up tomorrow? So when Joe Biden says the things that he said uh, about her, about, you know, that, that it's naive for her to say that the Republicans are the enemy, um, and when we've got the whole email scandal with being investigated now by, of course, the FBI, we've got the Benghazi hearings and so on and so forth, is there the slightest check in your spirit in casting a vote for somebody who may or may not arguably, I guess, um, take the job of national security lightly enough that she didn't go all the way to do the right thing with those emails and that she didn't send reinforcements when the ambassador was asking. And I realize that you probably don't think either of those things are true, but I'm asking you if there's even the slightest question, is that too much for you to trust her with basically your children's future, you know? Gina, I, I, Dr. Gina, I, I have to remember that you're a doctor. I have to say that. Gina's fine. Uh, and, and when you dis, when you and I disagree, I have to call you doctor so you know I'm being respectful. <laughs> Team me up. But you, 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 and I, you and I disagree on that a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, t he, here's the thing. I think that as Secretary of State, it becomes, you know, the issues that shock us as laymen can't shock her as Secretary of State can't shock the president as the president. They deal with things that we can't imagine. They deal sure. with information that we can't imagine. So my my greatest penalty that I give Hillary Clinton is that all of that has put her out of touch with the people. Mm. So that, that's the greatest crime. I do believe that she took the right steps, that she understood what was going on, and that at the end of the day, made the decisions that were best for her and the and and the country at the time but i got to tell you i can't think like a layman on that i got to give her the benefit of the doubt and I, and i think the people will as well and you believe that she believed that it was the the film that was the problem uh, that caused the attacks on benghazi when she said that you believe her that she really believed that in that moment i believe she believed it do i think she knows how to communicate it in a way that 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 that, that helps people believe that she that she is being real about it? No, mm -hmm. I think she's out of touch and I don't think she gets elected unless she gets back in touch. But I, I do believe her. Well, Sean, I appreciate it. You are certainly a congenial, uh, easygoing guy, and, uh, and I'm sorry. That's that why you asked me to come on. You didn't want me to come and agree with you, right? <laughs> it was a pleasure, Sean. Thank you for being on my show. Appreciate you. Gina, thank you very much. Absolutely.